it's a non-starter. They're not going to get the pensions. I think Boeing will literally go bankrupt if they have to give up those pensions. But they have been asking for 40% since the beginning. Okay. Boeing originally offered 25. They said overwhelmingly, absolutely not enough. Then they came back at 30%, which was their quote unquote best and final offer, but apparently not because two weeks later they came back with 35%. And they've got two thirds of the union that is still saying that's not enough. A third has been converted. A third did say, yeah, I'll go back to work for that. So they're getting closer and they're gonna have to bridge that gap. I think they'll have to go to 40%. And since they're probably not gonna get the pension, they might have to go above 40%. They might have to go to 45% in order to say no pensions, but we'll give you more and we'll give you a bigger signing bonus to make up for all the time that they haven't been paid. It's hard right now for the union workers. Right. Jessica, I know that you are of the opinion that management has been so focused on their balance sheet that they've pretty much forgotten about the workplace culture. What does that look like? I mean, how do you kind of turn that around? You did say that it seems like it's a little bit too late now. Yeah, I mean, CEOs all over the world are focused on driving results right now. And some can take that so literally to only mean focusing on the financial results. But as we're seeing with Boeing, this is a classic example. If you focus so much on the financials and not on the hearts and minds of your employees and bringing people along for the ride, culture is really about how you think and act. It's not about the buzzwords you have on a poster board about your values. Kelly Orberg did an interview the other day saying we got to focus on culture change and we're doing that right now by, by revisiting our values. I mean, is that really going to move the needle for the people who feel so much resentment, feel like they've lost so much? They have to see leaders take the lead on culture change, which means pay us what we think we're owed, show up on the floor, stop focusing so much on the balance sheet, and also focus on quality control. Also focus on what we as people bring to the organization and what we need. High school buddy of mine, lifelong engineer at uh, Boeing in Seattle, and he says, hey, you know, he's not a radical dude. He's just saying, hey, this is what I think happened. They, management left, the C-suite left Seattle 20 years ago for Chicago. Now, right. they're, now, now they're in D.C. That um, felt to a lot of these engineering types who take pride in the work that we lost their support. Or we lost, the, we lost their support of the engineers yeah. who mm -hmm. drive Boeing. And they started focusing more on profitability as opposed to the engineering prowess of Boeing. And that's 20 years ago. Yeah. Um, and... One could argue they think that's the beginning of perhaps some of these problems that we're now seeing 20 years later. I don't know how you get that back. Well, I think they've done a good job, actually, because Kelly Orberg is someone with an engineering ba background. So they have realized they don't need a bean counter at the C-suite level. They need someone who's been an engineer who understands. He's saying, let's get back to the floor. He bought a house in Seattle. He said, we're going back oh. to Seattle. So there is already a shift okay. to make up for what that is a well-documented complaint that the union workers has if you lost the soul of this company. And this is a fight for the soul. Right. I always tell people that one of the great drives from an airport to a downtown is in Seattle. You get out of your plane in SeaTac, you get on whatever that I, whatever that is, and you drive to Seattle. It's about a 40 minute drive. And on the left of you on the highway, for almost 40 miles, is Boeing. And it's airfield after airfield, right. and hangar after hangar, and plane after plane, and they're taking off and flying all about. That to me is Boeing. Um, and the fact when senior management left there, it seemed like for a lot of people, oh, we kind of lost the heart and soul there, so. And building off of Paul's earlier question, I'm curious, did it seem as though there was a stronger, more intense crackdown after all the hiccups that Boeing has seen this year? Or does this seem like it's kind of been a bubbling up point and it's finally bubbling over as to why workers are so unhappy? Well, Boeing has had a lot of very public embarrassments, right, in recent times. And I think the employees are saying the executives are not protecting the company's brand and reputation, so we will. We are not okay with the quality control. We are not okay with the way that production has deteriorated over time, mm -hmm. and so we are gonna fight to do things the right way because these are engineers who take a lot of value. They love the fact that they can produce some of the most high quality machines in the world, right? They don't wanna create garbage material anymore. So they're fighting for it. And I think this is something that will get resolved. It will absolutely get resolved. They've got to get back to the table. Maybe a few more weeks. Some people say we're only at the halfway point. Either way, they're going to come together. Boeing will get back on track. I'm not worried about the future of the company. 